I am longing to be with you and by the sea where we can talk together freely and build our castles in the air. Written by Bram Stoker, visualized by AI. Long live the written word. Perpetually working, fighting, triumphing, persecuting. 300 million people, all with the same face. Written by George Orwell, visualized by AI. Long live the written word. This year, the Colorado State Fair's annual art competition was held as usual. This painting, Theater D Opera Spatial, won the first prize. However, artists were unhappy with this artwork. The award winner, Jason Allen, is a game company executive. And he was a complete amateur when it comes to drawing or painting. However, he realized his imagination by entering text into AI program, and the program technically completed the work. Many artists sighed because this painting, which was not even brushed, won the first prize. This painting is drawn by an AI art software Dolly, which was named after Dolly and Wally. How does it work? Simple. If you input text, Dolly draws a picture for you. If you select a specific part of a picture and enter text, for example, the cat, Dolly will automatically add a cat to the picture. This function is called impeding, and you can use it to fill an empty house with puppies, and drastically change the hairstyle of Mona Lisa. There is another powerful function. Dolly presents Outpainting. Outpainting is a technology that extends the picture beyond the area of the existing image. For example, if you input text, a sitting woman, Mona Lisa gets her legs, and you can even adjust the length of her skirt. There were two shocking events in the history of art. The first event was the invention of perspective, and the second was the invention of the camera. And now, we have an AI artist, and it will be recorded as the third impact. I didn't never consider myself like a professional painter. You know, a professional painter is a man who paints every morning. And painting always bored me, imagine. So I, so I had a hard time finishing it, a painting, and it took me some months, even, even the nude took me at least two months to, to paint it, you see. And I, I'm opposed to that, and even now I'm opposed to the idea of painting fast, or I think the even, I don't believe in the magic of the hand, you know. Duchamp is one of the great artists in the history, well known for his work, Fountain. However, as you can see from the interview, he was not interested in drawing and completing the painting himself. Does that mean that Duchamp is not an artist? He is still an artist who had greatly influenced on contemporary art. Some artists do not want to recognize AI paintings as art, because paintings are not completed by artists' own brush strokes. But a long time ago, Duchamp had already answered to this question. Can something made by a machine be called art? Duchamp believed that even a ready-made product could be an artwork by the artist's choice and transformation. In fact, great painting skill is now far from the essence of art. After invention of photography, people's perception of art had changed. Rather than imitating the object, artists' idea behind the artwork had become much more important. And Dolly is just a highly improved tool like Photoshop or Illustrator that helps artists realize their own idea. When some people mention Dolly, they describe it as a magical box that exactly realizes users' imagination. However, AI painting programs are not perfect as you may think. In fact, many of the paintings drawn by Dolly are bizarre like this. Among mass-produced paintings, a human artist should make final decision, 
about choosing a painting suitable for the project. As Duchamp claimed long ago, we have to recognize machine-made painting as an artwork, since a human artist is deeply engaged in decision-making process. I think the impact of AI artists on human art is positive. For example, if a human can come up with five styles to draw a painting, artificial intelligence can suggest 20-30 options. Even people with poor painting skills can work as an artist as long as their idea is creative. If anyone can draw easily, the spectrum of art will broaden. Especially in the film industry, production cost will be reduced by making visual work easier. Filmmakers will envision a scene with various styles faster than ever before. In the near future, the cost of a blockbuster movie could come down significantly. However, there are some issues that need to be solved. The first one is copyright management. Millions of images and thousands of artworks have been used to train Dolly. What Dolly create is constrained by its input, so Dolly cannot be creative without human paintings. Look at this picture that Dolly created. It has stock image logo in the center. There are two possibilities here. Dolly may perceive high quality picture as a stock image. Or Dolly might have been trained with unlicensed stock photo. Did the company paid for the license of the pictures used in training Dolly? This can be a controversy, and I want to see how OpenAI solves the intellectual property issue. The second problem is deep fake and misinformation. Look at this video of Tom Cruise. The person in this viral video was not real Tom Cruise, and it was made using deep fake technology. Right now, Dolly is in the stage of realizing images, but someday it will also create videos. Although Dolly has a policy prohibiting bullying, harassment, or creating images of people without consent, considerable amount of attention is required. Some people fear AI and some welcome it. We do not know how this technology will change in the future, but the important thing is that we cannot stop this flow. In the 19th century, people who broke down machines in Luddite movement could not stop industrialization. How will Dolly affect the world of art? Let's see what happens.